What is up, guys? It's Kyle with Never Hedge, and this is our Google Earth breakdown of uh, TPC Deer Run for the John Deere Classic. It's not the best course this week. Uh, I mean, field this week. It's a pretty nice course, um, very wooded, uh, right on the Rock River in Illinois. Um, there are lots of sand traps. It's not the longest course. Kind of fits shorter hitters uh, historically. Um, but if you look at just the overview, um, it's a pretty big course. I, I really like the layout. If you notice, there's not many houses around. Um, it's all wooded. There's not much water. There is water on the 18th. Um, but we'll just start. We'll start with the first hole. And I am on JohnDeerClassic.com um, getting their little breakdown of each hole, uh, which they have. And they do have – they actually have a flyover um, if you want to check that out as well um, that you'll be able to see they did with a, a drone, which is pretty cool. Um, zoom in on the first hole. Uh, you see the tee box over here. Uh, and, and the first hole, they all have cool names. Uh, the hole one is called Grand Detour. Um, the course begins with a short par four. It's 391 yards with an uphill tee shot to a generous fairway surrounded by bunkers. Um, so as you can see, it is generous because you could just lay up right here. Um, but there are bunkers everywhere on hole one. Um, the green is guarded by bunkers and sits among a stand of oaks. So you can't go too far. You'll end up in the shit. Um, it's a good way to start. We should see a lot of scoring, um, as we've seen in the last couple weeks. Second hole. Second hole's got the penis bunker. The old little penis bunker right there. Um, second hole is called the Colonel Davenport. It's a downhill tee shot to a fairway some 50 feet below makes this hole play shorter than is listed. It is 551 yards par five. A good drive, and it should be reachable in two by most players on tour. That's just about everybody. Um, if you see the little penis bunker, um, very wooded. You got this little ravine right here guarding the hole. A little clubhouse. Uh, overall, another scoring hole for the second hole. Let's go to the third hole. This is our first par three. It is 183 yards. And this uphill par three will play much longer than 183 yards, which is already too long for me. Um, a set of bunkers guard the right, and the green runs from back to front. From front to back. Sorry about that. If we zoom in, you can try to kind of see the elevation. Google Earth is ridiculous. Um, very pretty hole. Pretty straightforward, just, just long. Um, move over to the fourth hole, which is Friendship Farm. Um, it's 448 yard par four. The green sits at one of the highest points on the course. And if you miss the green left, right, or long, you are in a tough chip to a small green. And we can see that that green is small. Uh, it is hard to see the elevation, but you could kind of see that this is sloping downward. Um, Friendship Farm does have this tree guarding the middle of the fairway. So you have to watch out for that. Um, most players will pick a side and be fine. Um, this side's favorable. Uh, unless you can really cut it. Um, we'll head to the fifth. The fifth, Lincoln's Crossing, uh, is a 429-yard par four. It's long, straight drive down the left side of the fairway is a must on this hole. Uh, trees guard the right side on your second shot, and the green sits behind a ravine. Um, if you see... Taking a look back here from the tee box, you have to hit. We'll zoom out a little bit so you can see. You have to hit it left. <laughs> you can't go right. You don't want to end up on the first hole. You don't want to end up in these thick trees. Uh, if you go left, there are the bunkers that you have to worry about. So this is a little bit of a thinking hole. Um but if you avoid the bunkers and do hit it to the left, it's a very easy hole. 
Um, so all depends on that tee shot. That's why this whole this course is set up perfect for Zach Johnson. He just dinks and dives all over the course. Um, ends up with a great score at the end. Uh, the sixth hole. Sixth hole um, is was kind of hard to find for me when I was uh, mapping this all out. It's wooded, hidden by the trees. Um, it's the second shortest par four on the course at 361 yards. Uh, so it's drivable. But it's also the tightest, and you can see that. <laughs> I mean, I would never get out. I'd be stuck. I'd be stuck in the woods. Uh, this hole is carved out of the forest, and while short on length, it is long on danger, and that is the truth. Like I said, accuracy off the tees is going to be a must this week, not necessarily length. Um, sorry, Bryson. Maybe get a caddy that can tell you that. <laughs> um Shots on Bryson. Next hole is the seventh. It's Timber Ridge, and it's 224-yard par three, and Jesus Christ, that is too long. This is the longest par three on the course and the most picturesque. Um, it is a beautiful – the whole course is beautiful. Um, it is shot into the prevailing wind. This hole will test the accuracy of even the best. Yeah, I mean, an accuracy at 224 yards into the wind, that is pretty tough. Um it's not the tightest hole, though, if you really look at it. There is room. There are these two bunkers, but guys these days don't care about that. They'll shoot out in one putt. They'll, they'll be fine. But par is going to be uh, – you're not going to see many birdies on that hole. Uh, the eighth is called the Sanctuary. The small tongue on the front of the green creates a spot for one of the hardest pin positions on the course, but it is a par four and it's only 380 yards long. Um, so yeah, the pin position might be tough, but you got four shots to get it there and it's not going very far. And there are these bunkers on the left and the green is surrounded by four bunkers. We go to the ninth hole, which is the howitzer. Uh, it's only, it's 485 yard par four. So one of the longer par fours It is the longest par four. Um, one of the most testing holes, a leveling landing area for your drive will leave you with a shot through the trees. Um, so it is tight and it is far. Um, this will be one of the harder holes to get par on. Um, there's lots of trouble. Let's see there. Yeah, there is even bunkers in there um, that you can't see from our angle. Scroll in. There they are. And I'm not even going to mess with angling to see the course just because it'll mess everything up going forward with this presentation. But the howitzer, love the name. Great name. And you start the back with the 10th hole, the core 10. It's 581 yard par five. The green is very small for a par five and there's no room for error on your third shot. Bunkers protect the left while a pond protects the right. So you can see it is very long, one of the longer holes. And let's see if we can find that pond. I had trouble finding it earlier. It says there's a pond on the right, which is not coming up for us. Oh, this is the pond. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't even tell if that was a pond. All right. I see the pond very clearly, and it is in the way. I would most definitely be in that pond. Um. Sheep, you'll probably see guys just aim for the bunker. Much better than going into this pond. Um, there's not much water on the course. There is water there. The 11th hole is jump start. It's a par four, 428 yards. The 11th hole is dedicated to the PGA Tour professionals who notched their first career victory in the Quad Cities from seven, 1971 to 1998. Um not much to say about this hole. It does have this lone lone tree uh, and two bunkers protecting the um, green. The twelfth, master stroke. It is a par three, two hundred eight yards. It's a long par three, a tree lined fairway, a well bunkered green. This is one of the bigger greens on the course, but don't miss because there's trouble everywhere, as you can see. Um, and it is a massive green, isn't it? 
Um, yeah, you got some bunkers, and you do never want to be in the trees. And look at that thick stuff right there. Look how that's showing up. <laughs> you don't want that. 13th hole. Pop and Johnny. I love the names. Probably one of the friendliest holes on the course. A fairway that has bunkers on both sides to a green that sits in the front of a stand of trees. And yeah, very straightforward hole. Accurate tee shot. Don't get those bunkers and you're right in there. Very straightforward scoring hole. The 14th is actually called Deer Run. This is the ultimate risk reward hole. It is drivable, but the perils are many. Go for it and miss left and you're in the valley of sin. Um, it's 357 yard par four guys are going to try to drive it. Um, just probably just about everybody, but God forbid you end up in the Valley of sin over here. Uh, you don't want that heavy trees, not a good place to be. The 15th hole is a 456 yard par four. It's called coal town. And I believe that's probably because it is right on the river which is Rock River. Um, probably the toughest hole on the back nine. It is long and tight and goes to a long, narrow green that is heavily guarded by sand and trees. Coal Town. Doesn't look that hard on Google Earth, does it? Looks pretty straightforward. We go to the 16th, which is a par three, also right along the Rock River. Um, most likely the signature hole to the left is the Rock River and all the perils it commands. It may be short, but it is dangerous. Um, nobody should end up in the Rock River. It is pretty far left. But if you see, this is the perils. Nothing you can do about that. <clears throat> Even the best greens keepers. The green looks pretty big with the bunkers here. Um, beautiful hole. Captured a nice little boat right there. Let's go to the 17th, which is called Stadium. Stadium is a 550-yard par 5, um, and it wraps around right into the 18th. Uh, the green is elevated slightly with bent grass collection area all around. Miss the green, and you will have a tough chip to the hole. Um, you can actually tell the elevation from here, um, but we'll zoom in. And you can see it's starting to elevate just about here and elevates even more with this brutal bunker. That's probably one of the hardest bunkers on the course. Um, but Miss Long and you look, you are, you're all right. And that brings us to the 18th conquistador, more water. Uh, like I said, it wraps around from the 17th. Uh, it's 463 yard par four, a great finishing hole that will put a premium on driving accuracy. Hit it long and straight to avoid the fairway bunker on the left, but you must keep it to the left side. Um, see that right here. You got to keep it left to avoid these trees. Um, you also have to avoid the water on the left as you get your second shot. Um, and there are bunkers lining. The nice clubhouse right here. Uh, it'll be a nice. It'll be a nice hole, and it'll be a good tournament. Um, like I said, it's not the best field this week. Unfortunately, um, my pick to win, I'm going to have to go Daniel Berger. I'm going to pick him in one and done. Um, hope you guys enjoy these Google Earth breakdowns. Please like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, it'll help us out. It'll make sure we keep doing these. Um, I know I got some people out there that really like these. So thanks, guys.